and welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan, and my face is bare. If you have watched any of my previous makeup videos, you will have already seen, but it is unfortunate nonetheless. Today, I am going to do the makeup and books tag. Finally, because I've put it off long enough, and even though I can't reach any of my books because they're all in those tubs, I felt like doing it. Like, why not? Why not get it done now? But I have all my makeup here. I have the tag open on my computer. Let's let's put my face on. I don't know who created this tag. I never know who creates tags. I never know unless, like, it's the beginning of a tag, or I just, or someone actually knows who created it and says. But if I figure out who did, I will link that down below. Though I was most inspired today by Tastics doing this, like, yesterday or something. I mean, I've been meaning to do this for a while, but she reminded me of it and I'm like, okay, let's get this done. You can see that now all my brushes are covered in cat hair, by the way. Mug of brushes. Number one is primer, which I don't always use primer, but when I do, I usually use this Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And the question for primer is, pick a book that left a lasting impression. A lot of books leave lasting impressions. So like, this is a hard question, um, when thinking about this question, I was thinking maybe Ella Enchanted because, well, it's one of my favorite books of all time, I've even reread it. Obviously Harry Potter has left a lasting impression on my life. This is a really hard question actually. There. Do my pores look a little more erased? God, I hope so. I guess Ella Enchanted is a good enough answer for this, but not really. Um, oh, oh, Princess Ben. by. Probably Gail Carson Levine, but don't quote me on that. I'll put the cover here, but I don't actually remember. But I just remember really enjoying that book for some reason. Foundation! Which, by the way, I'm using this Wet n Wild foundation and I hate it. First of all, this is the wrong color for me, obviously. Like, I should have gone to the lightest shade. This is the second lightest shade. I'm usually the, li the second to lightest shade. Apparently not according to Wet n Wild standards. Like, it works, but question for foundation is pick your favorite first book in a series and I think for this I'm gonna go with the Hunger Games I know everyone else seems to like catching fire the most but I never have I've always liked the Hunger Games the first book the most for some inexplicable reason though usually I do like the first books in series more than I like the subsequent books because the first books are the books that introduce you into the world okay next is concealer which i have the wet n wild concealer photo focus concealer which i do like except for this shade is too dark this is the lightest shade nor the music outside i guess pick a character you wish you could get rid of um for this like there's obvious answers like edward cullen or america singer that should not be darker than the foundation but it is I think I might just go with the obvious that is Edward Cullen because I can't stand Edward Cullen. Like, what a douchebag. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna go with Edward Cullen from Twilight. Like, I realize we wouldn't even have Twilight without Edward Cullen, but I feel like there's probably no fictional character that I hate more than that guy. I don't know. Powder. I'm gonna use the super white powder to make up for that dark concealer. Very beat up pressed powder. Um, powder. Pick your favorite last book in a series. This is a hard one solely because I tend to not love last books in a series. They often let me down somehow or another. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think I was gonna go with the Crimson Crown from the Seven Realms Quartet. And plus, there's just a lot of last books in series that I just haven't actually gotten to. Like, this presumes that you've actually finished a series. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna go with The Crimson Crown by Cinda Williams Chima because I can't think of any other last books that I actually liked as a book. Like, <sighs> eyebrows. Excuse my tiny eyebrow. But a book that you think everyone should read. There are a lot of these because there's a lot of books that I love that I never see mentioned on booktube like at all like there's the fall of ill rain trilogy by martha wells that i really really love and the keeper of the lost city series by shannon messenger that i really really love oh i just had a sneezing fit there um 
but those are both series so I don't know if they really count. I really liked Uprooted, up, Uprooted as far as like a singular book go. Like I don't read a whole lot of standalones it feels like. There's Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda which I just listen to the audiobook for, which everyone should probably read because it's a really good book, though everyone has already read it, so... Eyeshadow. Pick a book that has your favorite colors on the cover. Now, my favorite color is pink. I also like purples and blues, which are... purples and blues are more often found on covers than the color pink. Rain the Fallen has a pink cover, but it's very pale pink. This has some nice coloring. Like, look how pretty this is. Gunslinger Girl um, by Lindsay. Ellie, excuse me, mama. You're not a book. Like, look at those colors. Like, pink and purple, awesome colors. There's also, let's ignore the loud power tool that is now going outside. There's also Incarnate by Jody Meadows, which is one of my favorite books ever, 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 ever. That's a mess. Everblaze by Shannon Messenger comes to mind. I loved that cover because it has such pretty colors on it. I love pretty colors. Co covers with like purples and pinks and stuff like that are, tend to be my favorite cover colors because I love pinks and purples and oh my god, look at that. That looks ridiculous. Okay, that looks awful because I'm not used to doing my makeup in my room. I usually do my makeup in my bathroom with very bright lights and different mirrors so yikes eyeliner pick a dark and mysterious book i can think of dark books easier easier than i can think of mysterious books also yes i use eyeshadow as eyeliner because i can't do eyeliner in my notes i put down the young elites because dark books are so easy to come by and i'm not a huge fan of dark fantasy really anymore or ever because i'm very light and fluffy the darkest series that I think I've ever read was, uh, I've only read the first one, I can't remember the name of the exact book, but it's the Black Jewels, uh, I want to say Trilogy by Anne Bishop, I think, um, which was very dark, and I didn't, my little, my little 16 year old self, I don't think, was prepared for how dark it was either. And same with the Young Elites, like I went into it without knowing how dark it was gonna be and I was like, whoa, okay, like this is some dark shit. Um, so I guess the Young Elites comes to mind because it was unexpectedly dark. The darkness was a mystery to me going into it. I still need to finish that series. Mascara, pick a long book. And this is when I really wanted to hold up a book because the Way of Kings and Words of Radiance, you cannot beat those. Those two books by Brandon Sanderson. Like, you just can't. Those books are a thousand pages each. And they're just an Oathbringer, too, I imagine. Is the <laughs> Though I don't own that one in particular yet. I haven't gotten my hands on Oathbringer, but they're so big. Like, you can't find a longer book than those books. Like, it's just impossible. Like, okay, maybe there are books that are longer than that, but I can't think of any. The Way of Kings and Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. Like, those are just huge behemoth-sized books. Like, I haven't even read Words of Radiance just because it's so intimidating. And I want to read Oathbringer, which I need to get my hands on, but... Uh, Mama ain't got $20 laying around. Like, those are books you could kill a cat with. Like, dang. Blush. Pick a book that had some cringe-worthy romance. First of all, I don't wear blush. I am very naturally pink. I mean, I don't look pink now because I have foundation on, but in general, I don't like having blush on. I just, I don't like blush at all. Oh my god. There's like mass wet mascara right here, and it's like clumped right. So I'm gonna put on a little bit of contour this eyeshadow palette while I answer this question, which is pick a book with a cringe-worthy romance, which isn't hard because most books, a lot of books have some cringe-worthy romance, like, oh my goodness. Like, the selection is one of the things that I put down here because, like, oh my god, the selection. Oh my god, like, I don't know why I read the books, and I gave them good ratings too, I think even, but I hate them. Like, I hate parts of them, but I also really enjoyed reading them? I don't know. 
but it's so cringeworthy the romance in those books especially as it goes on like Max and, and America like at first I was into it but then later on Maxon turned into kind of an asshole and I just was not about it everything and everything like surrounding how it happened you know in the selection it's like a competition to like the bachelor but you marry the prince of uh, whatever the hell the name of the stupid country is so like all these girls are selected potentially marry the prince and it's just so oh the whole thing surrounding it the whole the whole selection is just cringeworthy by itself like i could go on about those for a while i also put down a Court of Thorns and Roses, which I still need to finish that series, by the way, but that book is like... Eh. Divergent is actually kind of cringeworthy because, like, technically he's kind of like her teacher. Four is kind of like Triss's teacher, and that's kind of cringy. Um, which also goes for Pretty Little Liars, the, the show, not the book. Um, though I gave up on that show. I couldn't take it no more. We only have two more left. Number 10 is highlighter. I have a new highlighter that is going to look ridiculous on my face, so I might have to mix it with something else. This little Too Faced, little deluxe unicorn tears mystical highlighter. <laughs> it's a little unicorn. You can't see it because it's not focusing. There it is. Look at it. I look ridiculous on my face, but I'm putting it on my face anyway. And for highlighter, pick a book that brightened your day. A lot of books tend to brighten my day, I would say. This one's actually a hard one because I don't know. In my notes, I put down Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, which truly warmed my heart, but I don't know if it really brightened my day. Um, most books, I feel like after I read them, I feel brightened. Book tags are hard because I can't remember any of the books I've ever read in my entire life when I do them. The last one is Lipstick, Your Favorite Book kiss which i mean there are so many good book kisses in the world this is a really tough one in my notes the first kiss that came to mind was um percy and annabeth their underwater kiss which i can't even remember what book that was probably the last olympian like i'm always so excited when there's a kiss like if there's build up to it like i'm kind of disappointed there were no kisses in pride and prejudice like of course at that time you know writing a oh balls. I just shut down my computer. I just hit it with my hand. Oh, what was I saying? Favorite kisses. Favorite book kiss. Um, Caddy Tastic reminded me of Baz and Simon's kiss in Carry On. So that is also a really good kiss. Like when there's so much build up and you're just like, kiss, 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 and then they kiss. It's like, oh my god, yes, they kiss. It's just, it's good shit is what it is. Every book should have that if it has a romance, you know? It looks a little ridiculous, but I like it anyway. Okay, I'm going to go now. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it through this very awkward video, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. What's this?